Welcome to the latest version of AR Free Flight 2.0. Press the piloting button to access the pilot interface. This arrow can be used to return to the main menu. Press this button once to take off. The two buttons in the center of the screen are used to pilot the AR drone. Using these two icons, you can see the amount of battery left and the Wi-Fi signal power at any time. Use this button to use the vertical camera located under the AR drone. This button is used to start and stop recording. You can take a photo with a single click of this button. Finally, this last button is used to access the flight settings. Let's have a look at them. The AR drone is supplied with default settings suitable for beginners. However, you can manually change the settings to suit your flying style, whether you are a beginner or an expert. Start by indicating whether you are flying indoors or outdoors. If you are flying outside, don't forget to activate the outdoor flight setting. Certain flight settings will change automatically. Next, select your type of hull. The two hull shapes have their own characteristics that affect the behavior of the AR drone. Now, we are ready to take off. Before getting started, make sure that your quadricopter is nice and flat on the ground. Then, press Flat Trim. This calibrates your AR drone and confirms its position. Find the front of the AR drone. Ensure that the front camera is looking straight ahead of you and stand at a reasonable distance behind it. Press the takeoff button and away we go. Press in the same place to land. The right button has two functions, to change the altitude and to rotate your AR drone. Press and hold the button and drag up or down to make the AR drone go higher or lower. Press and hold the button and drag left or right to make the AR drone rotate to the left or right. To move the AR drone forward, press and hold the left button and tilt your device forward. Press and hold the left button and tilt left, right or backward to move in the same direction. Once you release the button, the AR drone stabilizes where it is. Combine the controls to move the AR drone in any direction. Joypad mode. If you activate this mode, there is no need to tilt the controller. Press the button and slide your finger in the direction you want to go. You can now use absolute control a beginner mode exclusive to the AR Drone 2.0. To calibrate absolute control mode, press the calibration button. Absolute control mode helps to overcome the difficulties of getting the right position in flight. It doesn't matter where the front of the AR Drone is, if you tilt the controller towards you, it returns to you. It's the same for the other directions. This mode is compatible with the first two piloting modes. The maximum flight altitude is adjustable. If you are flying indoors, you can prevent yourself from hitting the ceiling. However, be careful not to set it too high outside. The vertical speed is also adjustable. You can go up and down, faster or slower. Change the rotation speed to turn slower or faster. Tilt is the setting that controls the horizontal speed of the AR drone. The more tilt, the faster the AR drone will go. We will finish this training session with the most popular AR Drone 2.0 maneuver, the flip. Make sure you have activated the flip function in the settings. When you are ready, press the screen twice rapidly and the AR Drone will automatically perform this acrobatic skill. You can flip while it is stationary or when moving. Thanks for taking this pilot training. Now it's your turn to play. Don't forget to watch the next video to see all the details about the photo and video recording system.